everyone, so today I'm going to be teaching you how to make this Milan clay pen and this is strawberry and chocolate themed. So let's get started. First you want to take a pen, I'm using Bic round stick in the size medium. I know these pens won't melt and I have blue and purple but I'm sure you can find other pens that won't melt in the oven. So you just want to take some pliers and you want to grab the end of the pen where the ink is and just kind of twist it I guess until the ink comes out and then you just want to keep that ink for later and make sure you don't spill it. Then you want to take some pink clay and you will need a lot of it as it is to cover the whole pen and you just want to roll this into a log. You want it to be a bit smaller than the actual um, size of the pen as when we flatten it it will extend a bit. So then you just want to take a clay roller and just roll this sideways so it gets wider as it will need to be quite wide and it should be about a millimetre to two millimetres thick then you want to take a blade and just cut round the edges of the um, clay and make sure it will fit the pen then you just want to wrap this up <laughs> um, and cut off the excess Then you just want to smooth this together so you can't see the join and you can just roll it on your surface and make sure it's clean though and then just smooth it with your finger or some tools. And if you have any air bubbles like I did you can just take a needle tool and poke them and then squeeze out the air and it should be fine if you smooth the hole. Then it should look like this. And then you want to bake this for your usual baking temperature but for half the time as we will be baking this again so make sure to only do it for half your usual baking time. And then when it's out of the oven it should look like this. And then you want to just take some red clay and roll them into a kind of tapered oval shape and you can make a few of these and make sure they're all different sizes. And then just put these on the pen and in any random place but try to not put them on the very top as that's where we're going to be putting the clay drizzle and then just poke holes in them with a needle tool or dotting tool to make them look like strawberries then you want to take some green clay and just roll these into slight log shapes I guess <laughs> and put these on the top of the strawberry for the leaves Then you want to take some brown clay and roll this into a log again and then flatten this and you want to cut off the edge at, at a slant so it looks like a chocolate bar and then take the blunt end of your blade and just make indents to make it look like a chocolate bar. Then you can just make a few of these and then put them wherever you want on the pen but Again, try and ignore the top part as that's where we're going to be putting the 3D paint. Then you want to take some more brown clay and you want to use all the colours we've used so far apart from pink and roll these into snakes. then just cut off the ends and then roll these together and then twist them so it looks kind of like a candy cane and then just cut off the excess and then wrap it round the top of the pen and this is kind of for a border for where the malang or malong will go <laughs> and cut off the excess so it fits Then you want to take some white clay and you want to kind of shape this a bit to make it look like Malang. It, it's kind of, there's just kind of a small, I guess you'd call it a line around the middle. It's kind of hard to explain but hopefully you can see what I've done. Then you want to take some white clay and just again roll these into a tapered log shape and put this on the top of Malang's head for the ears and secure and smooth these using various tools you have. I got the silicone blending tool from Hobbycraft. Then you want to take some more white clay and roll these into logs and put these on the side of Malang's body for the arms. 
and I'm not sure if I'm pronouncing Malang right, so <laughs> excuse me. Then just repeat this for the feet. Then you want to take a small piece of white clay and put this on the back for his tail. Then you want to take two small pieces of brown clay and put them next to the hands and this is going to be for the eyes and then roll out a snake of brown clay for the mouth and you just want to cut off three very small pieces and put this in the middle. It's kind of hard to explain but hopefully you can see what I've done. Then you want to take some pink clay and just flatten this on top of the pen. I only did this as my Milan was quite small so you'd be able to see the blue but you don't have to do this if you don't need to. Then you just want to take some red chalk pastels and shade his cheeks. Then you want to bake both of your pieces. Bake Milan for 30 minutes and bake the pen for 15 minutes or half your baking time. When they're done they should look like this. And you just want to take some super glue and glue Malang onto the top of the pen. Then you want to take some 3D paint, I'm just using Tulip in the colour brown. And you just want to shake this to make sure there's no lumps or anything. And you might want to practice on a piece of paper. So basically you just want to um, make a kind of melting chocolate effect. Sorry I didn't film all of, all of this as my <laughs> memory card ran out of space, but it should look something like this, and it doesn't have to be too neat as it is meant to be melted chocolate. Then you can just put the ink back inside the pen. It might be a bit hard, as I don't know why. I think the pen might shrink during the baking process. I'm not too sure, but then you just want to repeat the 3D paint step with the bottom of the pen like I did here. Then this is how I let it dry, I just put it in a pot and lean it on an acetone jar and <laughs> then this is what it should look like when it's done. I hope you enjoyed this, there is a bit of a gap at the front of my pen and if you want you could be more coordinated than I was. But see you next time, bye!